I'm doing this print sale for Mother's Day and um, through the 1st of May all the prints are 30% off with the code MOTHER and I'm doing these mini little um, films just to show you the prints and tell you the story behind them. Diners, dives, and drives. Okay, diners, dives, and drives. Yeah, that was that's what I'm calling it. Um, I've really always been interested in nostalgic places that are um, part of the local culture, whatever country you're in. Um, so you're gonna see some diners or cafes or or drives or dives that are in different countries, and I'm gonna show you. Um, um, what they look like in a limited edition print. So in my studio in Minnesota, I have about one of, of, of many um, original paintings in a limited edition print that is signed and numbered and titled. And that whole collection is in my limited edition collection on my website. But um, I just wanna focus right now on diners, drives, and dives. Dives and drives. And um, I'll show you um, this first one. This is a diner, and it's called, this painting is called No Loitering. Let's see how you can see it there, yeah. Um, it's called No Loitering, and it's a cafe shot or a restaurant in Fells Point in Baltimore. Um, predominantly, uh, I would say, a kind of orangey, um, red in the leather round kind of retro retro now seating but this photograph that i took and then later painted from was probably from 30 years ago so lovely little um, pay phone there at the end of that wall and a sign above the phone that says no loitering this is the same size as the original painting and then actually a painting that kind of goes with it, also a cafe um, inspired by Fells Point in Baltimore. This is called Register. I still have the original oil painting of this, uh, of this painting, I think, yes. And uh, it's a 12 by 10 inch um, painting, a lot of yellow and gray um, with an accent red and the yellow and gray is as as you know the pantone colors of the year for 2021 let's see let's get that there you go that's called register all right um we'll switch over to some prints that are in uh, paper sleeves and are in sleeves and aren't in um in a frame so this is i'm selling the, the prints unframed um, so you can do your own frame um, normally, those frames, I believe, are 16 by 20, so a standard um, proportion of frame would suit this size of a print. Um, this print is called Milk and Wine. It's a super horizontal print, so it might need a more a custom frame, but it's a, an elevation view of a cafe in New York City. I love this. I love the red. Um, I love the, let's see if you can see it the milk carton, and this is a milk carton, and the wine bottle, another kind of wine bottle, a, a, a white cup with red straws in it. This is a, a cash register right here. And then you have a, a salt shaker there in the background. And then the base of the painting is the top of that ledge of the counter so it's a very eye level view if you're sitting in the cafe a lot of my paintings i like to encourage the viewer to think about where they might be if they're seeing that view um, so that they're conscious of the space that they're in and and the environment around them and and you know finding beauty in everyday objects and everyday moments so this is called milk and wine one of my favorites all right Let's switch to a drive. Drive is going to be this Italian-esque ice cream truck that I found in a steam engine fair in London in Clissold Park. And you can see through the um, window of the ice cream truck to some caravans beyond that are part of the steam fair. 
Um, there's a shadow of a person here and a small woman, a, a woman beyond there. But I also have this as an original oil painting. The original is 30 by 30 inches and we still have that in our home, um, still unsold. Um, but I love the way the strong shadows are playing with the geometries of the truck and the stripe of the truck here, the white of the truck here, and that white being framed by the sky above. So it says ice cream. Something with RRY, so probably cherry vanilla chocolate. Yeah, and uh, also kind of lemony yellow accent color there. So this is called ice cream, question mark, like would you like one? And that, um, is a drive. Now we'll move on to a pair of prints that um, were inspired by a drive, funnily enough, in, that I had when I was in Medellin in, in uh, South America on a, on, a, on a work trip and I took a photograph out of a bus um, of some interesting shops that had roll up facades and the, the facades were open and I was fascinated by the the texture and the color and the the everyday nature of that scene that was something that I had kind of never been part of before um, and I was lucky enough to be able to travel there so this is a pool hall and this was one of those facades that was open and you can see it's, it's got, its dominant colors are this kind of orangey salmon, um, reddish orange salmon, and this mint green. And then back in here, you have a pool table right here, and then a window in the background. So there, there are these, the ways the white of the painting and the dark of the painting have this positive and negative space, um, but the light leads you into the space as you're looking at the painting. This is, and there's a, there's a, there are two, a couple of people back here in the back next to the pool table. And again, those kind of orangey leather chairs that we might remember from memory with the dark black metal legs there. So this is the edge of another pool table right there. So that's a kind of abstract, but, but real view. And with the intention is that it has a lot of depth and you're encouraged to look in. So this is a dive that I got on a drive. And its partner, the next door um, place to that roll-up facade was this diner. Um, and I call this um, Poor Solo One. So this is Poor Solo One. That one that I just showed you with the pool hall, pool hall is Poor Solo Two. And this Poor Solo One is the diner you can see someone has just eaten and left their tray and their bottle there. Um, there's a kind of heated window there, some kind of yellowish um, machine or fridge in the background and a pay phone right there. The signage above, the perspective back to an open door with the light coming in back in the distance. So the same theme of, of a space where you're looking into it and there's and the perspective is leading you to something else so you're you're always wondering what's going on and what is part of that scene so <clears throat> i really love that kind of everyday slightly gritty slightly dirty slightly just real life um, circumstance and situation predominant colors are white there's a lime green a kelly green in here and a yellow and then this pop of kind of orangey salmon red there. Okay, that's Poor Solo One. I think that's all in the diners, drives, and um, dives. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back with some um, nostalgic architecture, some more food and drink, and some butterflies. All right, have a great night, you guys, and thanks for watching.